Well, hey everybody, it's Paul. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to the new kitchen here. We got cabinets in. We're just now putting some door pulls on. And, you know, I use YouTube all the time to try to find information out on things. I especially look for reviews before I buy pretty much anything. And I just love real life reviews on YouTube. So I try to do them when I can. So when I was doing these cabinet pulls, you know, I used to use just a little thing that would go in the corner and, you know, you were kind of limited, a little piece of plastic, and it would kind of help you, but I wanted something better, and especially when you're doing horizontal pulls, and especially with long drawers, like I've got that one over there that I did, um, I wanted something better, so... Uh, they have jigs, you know, that you can use, and this is the one by King and Charles, obviously. Not sponsored by them, but this thing does great. Give you a little carrying bag, which is, to me, is important, because I like to try to keep my stuff together. Cool little punch, and I don't know if the camera probably won't resolve this exactly, but there is a super fine tip on it. I don't know. Anyway, it's there. And so when you punch it, it makes these little holes. And you don't just, it, it's one of these spring activated. So like you're putting it through the machine. I'm filming one handed, but I just wanted to show you how this works anyway. So you put your pressure on and you feel the string making tension and then It's like a spring loaded. And hopefully you can see it zaps a nice little indent in there. Then I go through with a fine bit. Hopefully you can see that. A real fine bit to make a pilot hole. And then I use uh, the regular hole for the door pulls. But this is, uh, of course, this is in the interesting thing I saw. Uh, Everybody's talking about how it does the horizontals, and that's very important, especially when you have uh, longer drawers. But I want to see, too, you know, does this thing. I figured it would, but, and it's very simple. It's, it's very usable. I just really love this thing. I've done a couple houses before, and I kind of wish I had one of these, because you take so much time. When you're measuring it out from scratch every time with a jig like this it's always repeatable i'll show you here you've got the bottom piece here that'll hook to the bottom you know it's just like using a tri-square type of thing and so you put it in place and you notice you've got those holes there now you could drill, and of course I've already got these centered, you know, so they're always, it's always right, and it makes checking it very easy. So what you want to do is you get your pool, you're going measure, center hole, the center hole obviously, divide by two, then you're going to find the center here, and go down, like say it's a four inch, so you're going to go two and two from the center hole, and you can check it very easy by just putting your thing on there and you can see it. The holes line up perfectly. Obviously you don't want to punch the wrong holes. <laughs> just the blue ones there. This part gives you your bottom part. This gives you your side part. And you don't change anything if you're doing, I call this up, I call this down. So whether, you know, the door's one of these on this side or a down one. So when you're doing like four, you're, you know, you don't have to change anything. You're just holding it like this. And then for this one, you're holding it like this. The things at the top. And then for these, you're going to alternate the things obviously at the bottom. You're holding it up. Then you're going to come over on here. And same thing, the things at the bottom, this is on the side, you hold it up, you're good to go. Some people drill through these, I don't. 
It's very simple for one person. You just put it up there and you get your punch. This is what I do. I do the punch. Some people drill it, so it's up to you how you want to do it, you know, but the punch does a great job. Just put it in there and it's good. So then I just drill a pilot hole and then I just drill the final hole after that. Maybe, I mean, you probably could do it with the big one to start, but I like to make sure. <laughs> So that's it. I mean, this thing, and it's very easy. Same thing here. You're just finding the center, top to bottom, and then left to right. Once you got set up, this has got a little center notches here. So what I do, you could make a mark, you could use your tape. I just put the tape there and I use this little notch to, to line up the center and Go to it, and it's super easy. Can't beat it for the money. I'll leave a link. They, I got mine. I paid for it on Amazon. I'll leave a link. It's very reasonable, I think. So, hey, thanks so much for stopping by, and the project's going. Till next time, we'll see you.